Hello guys, welcome to the third video of Firebase Real-Time Database with Swift Tutorial. And in the first two, two videos, we did the read operation and we did the write operation. So this time, in this video, we will do the update operation. So what I am going to do is, if we want to update an artist of this list, so we will tap on that artist and a dialog box will open asking with the new values. and with that dialog box we can update the existing artist so for this first we have to handle the clicks on this table view items and then on click we have to open an alert dialog so handling the clicks we will write here function table view and we will select this method did select row add so this will be called whenever we will select a row from the table view now inside this method we will generate our alert or dialog box so we will write let alert controller equals to ui alert controller and it will take title so for title we can pass like example for now and then message message be example for message pass example for now and then we have a preferred style so right preferred style and it would be alert so we have our alert controller now we need two action on this alert controller one action will be used to update the artist and the second action will be used to delete the artist so we will create two actions so first create let update action and it would be equals to ui alert action ui alert action now here we will pass uh, first again title and like update and then we will pass the style and it would be default so we have the style and title now we will uh, an underscore and then in now this action will be called whenever we will click the button on the alert dialogs but first we have to add this action to our alert controller so for this write alert controller dot add action so we'll write alert controller dot add action and then we'll write update action in the same way we will create a delete action so just rename it to delete action and change the text to delete now again write alert controller dot add action and delete action now we will present this view controller so for this we will write present and we will pass our alert controller and animated would be true so it will come up with an animation effect and in completion we will pass nil that's it now let's check if it is working or not so run your application <coughs> now let's click on an art test so you can see we have our alert dialog now in the title we will display the selected artist name and in example we will put a text like update the artist so let's do it first we have to get the selected artist and for this we can use this index path and we have the artist in this list so we will write let artist equals to artists list and we will pass index path dot row that's it 
now with the help of this artist object we can write the artist name on title artist dot name and in the message we will pass like give new values to update artist now we have to add two text field in this alert so for this we can use the method add text field so come below and write alert controller dot add text field and we will pass mm, we'll pass text field and in and text field dot text would be our test dot name oops here we have to use a curly brace that's it so we have added the text field to our alert controller and the same way we will add one more text field and it would be for genre that's it so we have now two text field in our alert now we will get the new values from this text field so in the update action first let id equals to artist dot id id will not be updated only name or genre can be updated and id will not be updated so as because of this id we are able to update the value so if we will update the id this will not work so id is not updated so we have the id from this artist object and then we will get the new name and new genre from the text fields so we will write let name equals to alert controller dot text fields and at index 0 we have text field for name and at index 1 we have text field for genre so we have the new name and new genre now we can update our firebase database with new values of this particular artist so first for this we will create a function so we will write function update artist and this function will take three strings id name and genre so we have id as string and name as string and genre as string now here we will again create a new artist so let artist equals to we have id as id artist name as artist name and we have artist genre as genre so we have the new artist with updated values now we will add this artist we again use set value method of the specified node of and uh, when we will use the set value method of the specified node with this artist the artist values will be overwritten so this way we can update the values so again we will write ref artist we will use the artist reference firebase reference and we will go to child and we will go to the specified artist using this id and then we will set value and we will pass the artist and in label message we can set the text as artist updated now we just need to call this method here so we'll write self dot update artist and we will pass id id name and then genre that's it now it will update our our test so let's try running our application
just put this here that's it now run your application and let's see if it works or not so we have built succeed now let's say we have to update Muhammad Atif Aslam with Atif Aslam so we have Atif Aslam and change the generate to rock and then click on update and you can see our artist is updated now try this one as well let's say some artist name like Justin Bieber update and it is updated so you can see the update is working absolutely fine you can check it here as well we have Atif Aslam we have Justin Bieber we have Atif Aslam and we have Justin Bieber now let's see how the delete operation works so again we will create a function <coughs> function delete our test and to this we will pass id and it is again a string and then we will again use ref artist dot child and we'll pass the id and we will set the value to nil and it will delete the values so this way we can delete the existing values now we need to call this method and in this delete action so let's write self dot delete our test and we'll pass the id so for id we can use our test dot id now run the application let's say we have to delete justin bieber now we will hit on delete and you can see it is deleted now try this one as well delete and it is deleted now check on firebase database you can see the values are deleted so, de so delete is working absolutely fine and we have done with all the basic operation we did the write operation we did the read operation we did update operation and we also did the delete operation so that's it for this video and i hope you found this useful and if you're having troubles or confusions you can leave your comments and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel hit on the like button and also share this video and thanks for watching and i will see you in some other video where i will cover some other topic related to iphone application development thanks for watching